Hi, my name is Mike Patrick, and this is how to do a quadruple cut. It looks like this. This is based off the Charlier cut and the triple cut, so you should learn those first. But what you're going to do is allow a small packet, about a third to a quarter of the deck to fall. You're going to kick that beyond your thumb, you're gonna grip it, and then you're going to allow this packet to fall. Now, unlike a triple cut, which I'll do that for you really quickly, a triple cut would look like this. A quadruple cut, instead of allowing that packet to fall entirely, you're going to take that second packet and keep that separation with the thumb right there and allow that packet to fall back on top. So the first action will be like this. You do essentially a triple cut, allow this to fall. Your index finger kicks this back up, so you're gonna allow this to tilt along with the gravity and you're gonna allow that to fall back in. Your thumb regrips and you bring another packet of cards, allow it to fall, releasing pressure with the thumb, and bring it back up again. Throughout the cut, it's a good idea if you keep your pinky at the back, because this will keep everything square, once again, as I had mentioned in the other videos. Uh, so you're going to grip with your thumb, starting at the beginning. You kick the cards back, grip with the thumb. You allow a second packet to fall up and over. You lever this packet back up, allowing thumb clip packet to fall, re-grip with your thumb, allow a few more cards to fall, and then bring this back over the top. If you wish to put this into other combinations, if you learn other cuts, you can make it look something like this, where you can do the standard cut, you can throw in a revolution style cut, and maybe a flip over sort of action. So you can use this as a combination for a variety of cuts, but this is the basic framework for creating your own things. That is the quadruple cut. Thank you.